Hi, hello, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. There's Brian getting gas. Today begins our dining room makeover video. It's not gonna be like major, but I just have a couple of little arch cabinets, which by the way, I got those from Amazon. I'll throw in a little bit of a video here to show you the color match. I just picked the dark brown color, hoping that it would match as close as possible to our dining room table. And that match is so good. So here is a video of what the dining room looks like before. It's in a bit of a disarray state right now. I haven't put it back together since my birthday party that I had, but I also had the intention of doing this. Our table is a custom table we got made years ago at this point. The little buffet is from Ashley Furniture. The record player is moving into Brian's little hunting room and then that other side with the liquor on it is moving so the two arch cabinets will flank the window the bench I will be using for the table so we'll get rid of some of the chairs but by get rid of I mean we're moving them to the kitchen we have a little round table in there now again we've had that one for so long probably when we moved in we got it and it just doesn't really fit the aesthetic in there so what we're gonna do is get rid of that table we're talking about the dining room situation first oh yeah. so we're getting rid of the little round table in the kitchen and brian's genius idea was to do what with the chairs take the chairs out of the dining room put them around the the coffee bar area area yeah because we'll have four chairs left over and we don't want to get rid of them because no. when we have people over and they match so today we're going to charles phillips antiques to just peruse their like custom round tables. We're taking y'all with us today. I do wanna make a little picture wall. I started buying a couple of things while we were on vacation in Destin, but I wanna get them from different places, like different antique vintage type places. So we may go somewhere tomorrow and search for some more. But as for today, we are going to Charles Phillips Antiques. Hopefully we have good luck. Welcome to Charles Phillips Antiques. Oh, that's the sold room. See at the top? So let's go to number one. I think, what is there, like eight buildings, seven, maybe nine yeah, maybe more different yeah. buildings of just this kind of like super cool. This is exactly what we were looking for for next to the bed. So this, these are, they, they made these here. Oh, he said they made these here. Yeah. And here's how the price tag works. These. So this is actually 465. Yeah. Yeah, they do make things as well. Yeah. And then they sell like obviously this kind of like vintage -y antique stuff. And they'll usually tell you on there where it's from, what it is, something like that. I feel like we've been here before too, though, a couple of times. Yeah. Hanging. Brian's talking about getting something cool like this for the foyer, like front door area. I made this out of doors. Yeah, it might say it on there. Bench made from 1910 French arched window. Yeah, oh, window. 575. Oh, yeah. Again, the price is separate, so it's right Back. to left. Yeah, separate. It's backwards. I like that though. Something like this could be pretty for the picture wall as well. But they have a whole section like in the front where you check out of smaller things. But these are very pretty. Do they say what they're made out of? Door panel? Oh, maybe that's what they call it. It looks like we made it into the building where they build the things, like they redo and make things. You can order custom things from them as well and they'll make it from you saw like from pieces. Look at these. Okay. We're looking for a round table. Do you know how big we need it to be? Um, probably no more than four feet. Why? The like, okay. Three. Okay. Oh, and then you can get a different base and then yeah. I guess you pick out your size. Mm -hmm. I like this wooden looking one right here. I think that one's pretty versus like a white or a black though. The black would be nice too right here yeah. okay so they got a lot of options and here's all the tabletops rectangle more rectangle bigger rectangle all of the circular ones do you need a bench to go with it and then here's the sizes of the different circle tops you can do like a mini top like that these right here are very large Oh, that might be a price list. Unfinished tops. And then we just stain it ourselves, I guess. Yeah. There's a close up of the prices. Here's the main building, like where the cash register is and stuff, but they have the smaller things here. So I thought that maybe we could find something cool to go, I don't know, to go on the wall, but also look how fun all these are. I need to look at the picture of our little things that we bought, the arch cabinets from Amazon, and see if maybe we can do 
some different knobs or something cool because I want the vibe in there to be like vintagey. So I need to go back and look at that picture. So I think we decided we like this kind of top, this stained style. This wood is, what did he say, 1880s? type wood so i like this color stain for the top but i like this bottom like this exact black i think would look really nice the black bottom with that top it's hard to see because it's not you know set up that way i think that's what we like the price is a yeah, it's a little bit pricey the chairs, the chairs, that oatmeal chair yeah around it it would look super pretty yeah all right i don't think we're gonna pull the trigger today we're and just you, looking then, you, know, put, you can put something Pretty. Is this a four foot or a five foot? So this is a four foot. Okay. So that's how big it would be. All right. They do have new wood tabletops too, but this is the, you know, vintage antique one, mm -hmm. which is what we would want. That's which is why we're here. Yeah. Yeah. Stop. I'm a guy. That's how we do. No, just kidding. I'm going by the instructions. As long as there's pictures. You're a pictures only kind of reader, huh? Yeah, as long as there's pictures, I mean, I don't need the words. Oh, yeah, look. Pictures. <laughs> oh, it looks like there's a lot of parts. <laughs> You're going to do such a great job. Yeah, because what do we say? You're doing great, sweetie. Is that what you thought I was going to say? Oh, yeah. So this is, this is how wide it's going to be. Okay. Right. So it's, yeah, I think it's going to look perfect. Yeah. Because honestly, you can't beat that. That color match. Yeah, no, I mean, that is amazing. It's gonna right, like it's, be perfect. It's, it's, that's wild. We have one on we i say we have one put together <laughs> <laughs> brian put this together one is done he's gonna work on the second one now y'all second one is done gorgeous look how good it looks okay it's a little cluttered right now we know that but imagine this the bench gone this setup i'm gonna go ahead and do our fall decor just imagine okay how do you feel about this do you like them yeah i will feel better i'm gonna put lights in them yes Okay, so they're gonna be, they're gonna have, you know, puck lights in every shelf. And then, uh, you know, gotta get all my liquor and stuff in there and, you know. Oh, so <laughs> we both stepped at the same time. I, didn't, I haven't even looked in the drawers or anything. Will you pop one open? Okay, Brian had to put those, everything, you saw the box, everything came in pieces. Um, but yeah, I think it's gonna look so nice. I'm even tinkering with the idea of starting the curtains at the ceiling, how we did in our bedroom, you know? These are the knobs that come on them. I know I talked about earlier today getting some new ones. So we have two per drawer, and then these little, I kinda like them though, instead of getting something different. All right, I'm very happy. Slay the day.
Hello, welcome back. It is the following Friday. I've started, oh, the lights, oh, they, I thought the lights went out. I've started filling my cabinet. Brian, are you pretty much done with yours? There's maybe a few tweaks he will make, but I started filling mine. I thought that would be easier than you watching me think about it in my head. So I'll show you what it looks like, but what I'm really wanting to do today is the table. I'm not sure if this is how it's going to stay. These are books from Candace that she got for my birthday. I put a little brass goose in there. This is the plate that I think I want to set up. I'm on the hunt for a plate holder. We will get that together in this video. This crystal punch bowl with the glasses, Brian washed it really good. So that's in there ready to go. These little things are what hang, like allow the cups to hang. More dishes from Candace. I just put that in there to see if I liked it. More dishes, more dishes, more dishes. There's more that I want to put in here. I just need to go through them. Do y'all remember this? We bought this together thrifting with Candace, and it is just so pretty. All I have in here right now are these cups. I don't know if they will stay. And then you can see the lights that Brian put in there. There's one on each little shelf, so there's four total. And then Brian's side, same lights, though it looks a little bit darker, I think, because the dark liquor. This is what his looks like so far. Again, he might tweak it a little bit. And then we have the table. This is what we will tackle today. I did buy a runner. When we get to that point, I will show you. Oh, this morning I unboxed or unwrapped this. I remember buying this, I think with my mom. I already owned these white candles. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but it's so pretty. I'm at a stopping point. So let me show you, well, you've been seeing it sped up, but these are things, I don't know where to put this. And then this, I thought Brian was gonna put in his little cabinet. So I'm leaving it out. These are things that will most likely get put on this wall. I liked these napkins for this table. So once I put the plates out, I will use those. Brian found me a plate holder. We had one. So that's the one that I displayed. I did buy some plate hangers today. So I may take one of them the matching plate to that back there and hang it on this wall. I also have some pretty ones. I don't know. We'll see when we get to that point, but here's what we have so far. And then here's my little buffet. Do I love it? Yes, I love this side. It's so fall. This side, I'm not so sure yet. I may add some things over there, but so far this is what we have. I am most excited for the picture wall. I thought I had more stuff, but I only have those two pictures I showed you. And then the other day, I went out and grabbed this little postcard to frame. And then, oh, I think we've talked about all this stuff. These will probably go, I don't know, I thought about here, but there's really not a lot of space on either side of the window. So I'm not sure what to do with these yet. I just put that wreath there. It's too small and it won't stay. 
but I didn't know if I wanted that big thing there. I'm not sure yet. So that's all I'm doing for today. When I touch this room again, I will see you then. Y'all welcome back. Today is September 15th. So gosh, is it a month later? We're finally ready to finish this picture wall. So what I've done is I've laid out all of the pictures that I have. I wanted to kind of get a layout of what the wall would look like. And then Brian had the brilliant idea to cut the same shape into this like thicker paper we have. And then we can tape the paper on the wall. I'm sure y'all seen people do that before. So what I'm doing right now is cutting out the shape of the pictures with the paper, but let me show you all the pictures that we have so far. Remember we bought this mirror together. These little scone, like wall scones, I got from a thrift store. These pictures, I'm pretty sure I've shown y'all. Did we talk about this one? I don't even know anymore. This I got from Etsy, this canvas like oil painting of an oyster. I also got this from Etsy, not the same seller. I'll link the sellers down below. And then I think we bought this together. I did buy a picture frame for that. And then I have a second, oh, sorry, a second wall scone. And then these are just placeholders. They're plate holders that I want to put some plates in when we hang. There we go, is that better? I wanted a sort of placeholder for the plates. So I just have this light. <laughs> So I'm going to try to hold it with this hand. The picture on the wall right now will go right here in the middle. And as a refresher, this is the current picture. I don't know why y'all need a refresher for you. It's been one second for me. It's been a month. Oh, wait, I did buy placeholders or placemats. I think I'm like out of words for all the different place things that we have. I bought six of them from Target initially and then... We wanted two more to have it, a full set of eight because when we have family over, we'll set the whole table, even though right now there's only six. Okay, so these are the picture frames I bought. I bought this clear one. So I have this picture of me, my mom, and my sister. I actually bought this picture frame, or I think I found it. We may have found it together, but it doesn't really go in here anywhere. So I spotted this one at Target the other day when I was getting one for the postcard, and it's just a clear standalone. So I'm going to replace that. That's not part of the picture wall, but I did buy that. And then this is the one that I picked out for the little black and white postcard. Clear with the black frame. Picture goes in the middle. So let me put some pictures in. Like switch these out. And then once we start putting the paper on the wall, I will see you then. Update. I pulled a couple plates that I want to put out. So we have this one, which is from Candace for my birthday. And then this one... I couldn't even tell you when and where I got that one. I've had that one for a while, but this is the layout that I'm thinking. All of the pictures, even this little one has paper underneath it. The paper was kind of rolling on the corner, so I put it underneath. Next stop is to lay it out on the wall, tape the little brown papers up. All right, what would you like first? I would like you to tell me what your vision is. All right, I say we start from the middle and work our way out. Okay, so that's gonna go lower, about right there. Yeah. That left side might be spread out just a little bit more or it seems like we just have more things on the right side but I guess the things on the left side are bigger three feet but remember too we're gonna fill in some spaces with things that we get like Ireland things and, oh, you know yeah, what I mean yeah do you think that that on the right side over there is too high yeah and then that big one underneath it can go up a little bit like it doesn't have to be so far down this right here being on the very outside I think that needs to be the same height as that one right there. Yes.
are you ready for the final reveal? Before I show you, let's take it back. So this is what it looked like before. Just a little reminder, a little refresher. And now let's cut to current times. I am obsessed with the yellow napkins on the table. I did have a white napkin or like an off-white color, but I feel like the yellow just really makes it pop. I also did throw in a little burgundy pumpkin. I'll try to remember where most of these things are from, though most of the decor we've had, it's not new, with the exception of the table runner is from TJ Maxx, things like that. I will try to do my very best to link what I can down below for you, but the wall, this wall art, I am obsessed with. Now, I will continue to build on it because we're going to Ireland and now it's out there that we're going to Italy. So I wanna find cool pieces of art or even like a menu or frame a cool currency from, from there. I don't know, something cool for the wall. But for now, this is what we have. This oyster picture I think is gorgeous. It's from Etsy. It's an actual like hand-painted oil on canvas. It's just super tiny and so cute. Also the round like oval floral is from Etsy as well. These pieces, I think this is what took the longest because I wanted to find cool like vintagey looking art not just things i could get from you know home goods type art i wanted to really scour and find these cool things i also feel like this is a little bit anticlimactic you know it just it took a while to find all the art pieces like the things that i wanted exactly the table decor and stuff i guess could have been done a while ago but i'm happy with it so i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i also had surgery in there so i feel like for the last couple weeks, I haven't really been doing anything, hence why this has taken a little bit longer. But I'm very, very, very happy. I think everything turned out so pretty. I do want to redo the floors in here, but that's a whole project because it's the tile border with the carpet insert. Like the carpet is built into the floor. We've changed the carpet one time. Um, because it's just, you can't just take the carpet out. There's not tile underneath it. But I wanna put hardwood floors in here like in the rest of the house. That's a whole nother thing. Like that's not happening in this video. Also, we have yet to get a round table for the kitchen. I know we talked about that at the beginning of this video. Wait, let me show you what it looks like at night because I did light these candles and get some video last night. I also turned on the little lights in the cabinets. It's just a warm, like cozy, very inviting. I'm, I'm very happy. Like I've said several times in videos, I'm not the best at home decor. So seeing my vision for the most part, I'm very happy. Now that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.